This Use a Play is brought to you by Whoa, I'm happy Now I'm gonna take my time I'm happy Enjoying myself with lime I'm happy Escape from reality Yay And let lime take care of me Whoa, whoa, we're just happy and smiling Doing almost anything Having fun and just living Whoa, whoa, shopping, chilling, everything Get happy with Barbados's largest and fastest 4G network Activate any Lime prepaid or postpaid mobile plan today This is the Barbados Today Morning News Update for Monday, October 20th, 2014. Good morning, I'm Carol Williams. He says he has learned from the best and is ready to put his shoulders to the wheel. That's the vote from Hotel Executive Colin Jordan, who was nominated on a post last evening to be the Barbados Labour Party's representative for St. Peter after Owen Arthur quit the BLP in July. Jordan, who was nominated by Arthur's brother Richard at the branch meeting at the Alexandra School, is promising effective representation. I promise, ladies and gentlemen, with God's help, to be an effective representative and to be your representative. I look forward to the continued support, suggestions, advice, and prayers of all branch members. I look forward to seeing my part for the small community as a member, as a member of the Barbados Labour Party, to help to drive Barbados over the hands of those who seem back on this funny and this funny player. Jordan also thanked former Prime Minister Arthur for his leadership and naming him as his successor. I wish to express gratitude to former Prime Minister Owen Arthur for his astute national leadership during the period when the Barbados Labour Party held office during 1994 to 2000. He has done this while presiding over the unprecedented transformation and modernization of the infrastructure in the I also wish to thank him for his unhesitating support when my name was broached with him as someone who could fill his shoes. I want to thank him for his guidance and for quietly giving me over almost the last two years many opportunities to act on his behalf. With just days to go before the fourth anniversary of the passing of late Prime Minister David Thompson, his family has been remembering him. Wreaths were laid at his burial site on Saturday and a service was held at the Unity Wesleyan Church at Edgecliff St. John yesterday. In her reflections during the service, his widow Mara, the MP for the area, expressed regret that his vision for deepening community spirit at Cross Barbados was not making much headway. Let us continue to ensure that we seek to build those strong ties in and among ourselves and seek to extend our community. With this objective in mind, I know that the dream of my late husband has hope. His brother Stephen Graham tells Barbados today he's yet to come to grips with Thompson's death. A lot of what he um, sought to introduce in Barbados, he did it with a lot of favor. Uh, he, he also did it with a lot of other persons in mind. Uh, and he involved a lot of people. He didn't do it on his own. He involved a lot of people. I think it's unfortunate that we, he is taken away from us so early. When we were on the grave um, at a refrain ceremony, it was tough to hear some people still saying that um, he, what contribution he made um, in their personal lives. Don't expect the University of the West Indies to go out of existence anytime soon. That's the word from Chancellor Sir George Aline, who told the graduation ceremony on the weekend that UE is here to stay. The university's Kefil campus has been having financial problems and is also facing a 30% drop in student enrollment. But while Sir George says financing of universities is of global concern, he insists there is no chance UE is headed for the dustbin of history. By all indicators of scholarship, service and research, 
Your university is serving well the purpose for which it was created. And there is not the slightest chance that the university that your and my forefathers dreamed of is headed to the dustbin of history. Of course, it has changed. And it will change. And I charge you as alumni to follow that change. But it's because of our ability to change, but still remain faithful to the core of our Christian purpose, and still keep the commandments of quality, it is for these reasons that we are durable. Barbadians are today paying a bit more for gasoline and diesel while the prices of kerosene and cooking gas have gone down. Effective midnight, gasoline prices went up by 10 cents to $3.60. Diesel now costs 50 cents more per liter at $2.90. The price of kerosene dipped 5 cents to $1.75 per liter. The 100-pound cylinder is now selling at $176.52. That's a one. That's one dollar and fifty cents less. The 25-pound cylinder now costs $49.23, a dip of 37 cents. While the 22-pound cylinder is retailing at $43.49, a decrease of 36 cents. The 20-pound cylinder now costs 32 cents less. It is regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. To the region now, government schools in Bermuda remain closed today as cleanup operations continue, following a direct hit from Hurricane Gonzalo, which made landfall on Friday. Soldiers are assisting with cleanup and repair across the island, as well as helping residents whose homes were damaged during the Category 2 system. It was the second storm in a week to hit the island. Close to 13,000 people were without power. The airport was opened yesterday. And on the international scene now, the Spanish nurse who became the first person to contract Ebola outside West Africa has now tested negative for the virus. However, the Spanish government says a second test is required before she can be declared free of Ebola. The 44-year-old health worker who contracted the virus when treating two infected patients earlier this month was reportedly given a human serum containing antibodies from Ebola survivors. The Ebola outbreak has killed more than 4,500 people across West Africa so far. And that's how we end our Barbados Today morning news update. You can join us again for the afternoon edition. In the meantime, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper and email updates, or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay in supermarkets and gas stations near you. Also tune in to Channel 101 on Lime TV to get the latest news and sports. I'm Carol Williams. Have a wonderful day. This news update is brought to you by... I know how